I've had a lot of people writing in with their queries and challenges. So today, I will answer the three most commonly asked questions. Hopefully, it will light the way for others too. Hi, I'm Sheila and this is Q&A Wednesdays at Lumia 24. Light on! Our first question is from Rashmi from Mumbai. Rashmi writes to say that she procrastinates a lot. She even puts up things on a whiteboard and yet she does not get around to doing it, whether it is learning Japanese or even going for a walk or shopping. The other thing that Rashmi said is that she feels very useless because of this. Hey Rashmi, first things first, you are not alone in feeling like this. Most of us go through self-flagellation and guilt both useless emotions in my opinion. Secondly, it's okay not to do some of the things on your whiteboard. In our misplaced enthusiasm, we put a ton of things on the board and then we beat ourselves up for not doing it. So let me make it very simple for you. Look at the list of to-dos that you put on your whiteboard. And now ask yourself, am I just interested or am I committed? Because if you're just interested, chances are you will find excuses. But if you're committed, you will do the desired action. Seriously, the only antidote to procrastination is action. Hope this helps you. Our next question is from Manisha Bajaria from Mumbai. Wow, this is an interesting question. Manisha writes to say, that she lives in the fear of being overpowered by others. She wants to live her life with ease. How do I do it, she says. Hmm. Interesting question, Manisha. What I hear you saying here is that you let others dominate you and you like to put their needs above yours. Will not work. I want you to remember that no matter how much we deny it, we teach others how to treat us. And that is the harsh truth. So here's what I want you to do this entire week. Just say no. How will you do that? If they chose a restaurant and you don't like it, say no, you will not go. If you don't feel like cooking, don't. Just say no. They have not walked the dog and they expect you to walk it. Never mind. Let the dog not walk for a few days. It's okay. Say no. Do it with your family, do it with your friends. Chances are, the way you behave with your family is the exact same way that you behave with your friends. I am sure everyone takes you for granted. No more Manisha. Say no and this is the exercise that you have to do for the entire week. It will be difficult initially. Your family members will protest, your friends will protest. They are not used to seeing you like this. It will feel strange to you. But this is something that you need to do to increase your self-esteem and to live life with ease the way you want it to. Now this problem is not unique just to Manisha. Most of us have this issue of setting boundaries and saying no. Self-love, very important thing which is missing in most of us. I have covered this in great detail in my book, I Complete Me. It's available at all the online portals Go, get it now, read it, reread it, and use it. Sakina from Dubai has an interesting question. She says, I watched your Wheel of Life episode and I did it. Now she's a little confused because she is a stay at home mom and therefore she doesn't know what to put as a career option. Sakina, the Wheel of Life exercise is used to take stock of your life. Now, if you have a career and you're unhappy with it, then you rate it however you want. But if you're a stay-at-home mom, use that as your career option. Rate it on a scale of zero to 10, where zero is, I'm depressed and I really don't like it. I hope not. To 10, wow, I love being a stay-at-home mom. We are all different. You need not compare yourself with anyone else. 
Look at the fingers of your hand. A thumb is different from a pinky. The pointer finger is different from a ring finger. They are all different and they all have their uses. So it's okay. You need not compare. You are different. You have a purpose. You make a difference. So that's it for today. Help spread the word. Like, share and subscribe. It will help others who are going through the same issues find our videos and make their big difference. They will thank you for it.